Hi, this is Angela Cox, and I'm going to show you how to get into your assignment on consumer rights. So first of all, start out on the Calvert County Public Schools website. Click for students, and then you're going to log in through the Clever portal right here where it says Clever. And Clever is going to bring up all of these applications that you um, have access to as a student in Calvert County Public Schools. Your assignment is located inside of Wixi. So Wixi is right here on mine because I have it favorited. But if you haven't done that, it's underneath the essential district resources right here. This is where you'll find it. It's a rainbow hand, right? So when I get into Wixi, you're going to have all these tabs. Right? And you're going to click on the Assignment tab. And the assignment is called Consumer Rights and Responsibilities. Right? You may have assignments from other classes if your other classes use Wixi, but the one for Family and Consumer Science that you're going to be using is called Consumer Rights and Responsibilities. And you would click on it here. Now, on mine, it brings up a whole thing of students that I've assigned it to. Right? So I'm going to go back and open it up under my project. But you will find it under um, assignments. All right, and when you get here, it will show you consumer rights and responsibilities. And you'll see all six of the consumer rights and responsibilities. You'll have the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to be heard, the right to redress. If you click on the next page, you have the right to choose and the right to consumer education. You will see X's in these boxes because we're not going to use them. So I'm going to start on the first page under the right to safety. So step number one, in order to do this, you have to know what these rights are. This is a product assignment. We've already talked about consumer rights and responsibilities. We've practiced them quite a bit. So at this point, you should know what those consumer rights and responsibilities are. If you forget, then inside of Schoology, so if you go to period two, family and consumer science, right, we first learned about consumer rights on Monday, September 28th. That's when we first learned about it. And here is a link to the Smart Suite lesson that I did. And if you still don't remember, then you can watch the video of consumer rights and responsibilities that are right here that says click here if you are absent. So I'm going to go back to Wixi and um, figure out how to do this. So step number one, I have to know what the right to safety is. So I know from my previous lesson that the right to safety means that if I use a product correctly, it shouldn't hurt me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button that says text. I'm going to move it right up. Oops, not that one. I'm going to click it where it says type text here. I'm going to move it right over here in this box. And then I'm going to say that. Uh, it says products should not hurt you if you use them correctly. Now you see my words in there, they've taken up the whole entire box. Well, now I don't have any room for a picture, right? So I'm going to go right over here to where it says size, and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Not that small. How about that small? And then I'm going to move this right down here. Okay? Now I need a picture. Okay? So I'm going to hit this button that says images. And I have lots of pictures that I can choose from. And I'm thinking, hmm, what could hurt someone? So I'm going to say, how about a bike? A bike could hurt someone. Right? And so I have lots of pictures of bikes, right? But I don't see anyone who's wrecking on a bike. So let's say that I don't like any of these pictures. 
I can either choose a picture from here in images, or if I don't like those, then I can use the internet to find some pictures. So I'm just going to go open up a new tab, and I'm going to say bike crash. And I'm going to hit images. I'm going to see if I can find there. That kind of looks like me a little bit, right? So I'm going to right click on the image, and I'm going to hit save image as. And I have to remember where I save it. It's in downloads. So I'm going to hit save. Right? And I'm going to go right back over here to my consumer rights and responsibilities. And I'm going to hit image. I'm going to go to my files because I got that. And then I'm just going to take that picture that I just took and it's going to bring it up. Now I want it inside of here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So I, I, now I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So I have the right to safety. Products should not hurt you if you use them correctly. And I have someone getting hurt using a product. Now I need to go down to responsibilities. And under responsibilities, well, that means, well, what do I have to do to make sure that um, I can use this right? So I know from the lesson that in order to use the right to safety, I have to use it correctly. So I have to read the directions, right? I'm going to hit text. There we go. Move this right down here. And then I'm going to say read, I should say read and follow the directions, right? And then I need a picture to go with that. So I'm going to hit image. I wonder if they have any good directions in here. Directions. I'm going to hit search. Anything for directions? No, I don't like these. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say directions. Hmm, I don't want those directions. So how about product? directions. Here we go. These look like directions to me. So I'm going to pick one. How about this one? I'm going to hit save image as. It's going to save it in my downloads. I'm going to click back over here. I'm going to hit image. I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to choose that file and it's going to put it in there and then I want to move it where I have it and I'm going to put it inside of here, right? So for each one of these, I have to have a description and a picture, a description and a picture, right? So when I'm all done, I want to make sure that I have all of my boxes filled up, right? including the ones on the second page. And then I want to make sure to check the rubric, right? So Ms. Cox is going to grade it with the rubric that is attached. To see the rubric, you're going to go to File, Assessment. And this is exactly how Ms. Cox is going to grade it. So I have each of the rights in here, the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, the right to be heard, the right to redress, and the right to consumer education. For three points, you completely describe your rights and responsibilities with words and images. For two points, you partially describe it, and for one part, one point, you either don't describe it or what you put was not correct. Right? So this is exactly how I'm going to grade it. And this is going to be a product assignment for you, right? If you have any further questions or um, any way that I can help, don't hesitate to email me at coxa at calvertnet.k12.md.us. Hope that helps.